You guys remember the incident at UC Davis where there was a number of protesters, uh, you know, it was part of the Occupy movement, but they were also complaining about, of course, what's happening in terms of rates uh, and tuition on campus and the privatization of the schools, that direction that, uh, that the campuses seem to be heading in. A lot of very legitimate uh, complaints, obviously exciting their First Amendment rights and their students. I mean, it doesn't get any more legitimate of a protest than that, something the Americans are used to. Uh, but in this particular case, you know, because of all the overreaction of the cops all across the country, uh, it got way out of hand and uh, Lieutenant John Pike uh, wound up pepper spraying the hell out of these kids in, in ways that really captured the interests of the whole country. Because I, look at that, man. That is unreal. I mean, you've seen pepper spray from time to time, but that quantity at that close a range for no reason. Yeah, they're doing a sit-in. Yeah, it's called a college campus. Get used to it. So now that guy has finally been fired, but there are now also more consequences. They did a report trying to figure out what went wrong here, and they realized, yeah, what the cops did here, and as you can see, there's plenty of cops participating in this, was clearly wrong and they have reached a one million dollar settlement with the students who were pepper sprayed. So, now it's a one million dollar settlement, but on top of that, uh, and that goes to 21 kids, they get actually 630,000 a piece, I'll get to that, or not a piece, overall, I'll get to that in a second, but in fact, this overall cost the university two million dollars, because it cost them an extra million to do the report, there was like $320,000 to the Munger, Tolis and Olson law firm for preparing this. There was $88,000 in salaries and other fees to the employees of the university. There was over $119,000 for crisis management services. There was $445,000 to other investigators, $230,000 for internal affairs investigation. Jesus, how much does it take to investigate this? By the way, I could have done this investigation for about five bucks. Just look at that team go, yeah, that's ridiculous. Okay, now I know it's not that simple. You go and interview people, maybe there might have been other contexts. But Jesus, you spent a ton on that investigation. So within that context, giving the students this kind of compensation is something that's fairly logical. In fact, they're going to pay $30,000 to the 21 students and alumni that got pepper sprayed there. Now, that's not all. They've all also set aside $250,000 for other people who have not yet been identified but can prove that they were part of the people who were pepper sprayed. So, look, $1 million is a huge amount of money. $30,000 per student is a huge amount of money. Having said that, I'm incredibly glad about this because it sends a message that if we're exercising our First Amendment rights, our fundamental rights as American citizens, that you don't get to do this to us. This is an assault. And there should be a heavy penalty so the next time administrators or cops on a campus want to do this, that they think twice about it. Now, having said that, $30,000 is a lot of money. Makes me wonder, what would Jesus do? What would Jesus do? Indeed. So, uh, Jesus, $30,000 to get pepper sprayed in the face. What are you going to do? I was going to say something really nasty, but well, I'll just say it. For $30,000, I'll, I'll take anything in the face. Oh! <laughs> no, you wouldn't. No, but, you retract that immediately. Retract it. But totally, for just pepper spraying, are you kidding me? 30? Well, let's, all right, let's find out uh, what your limits are. First of all, uh, on pepper spray, you got to open your mouth, your eyes, your ears. I mean, they're going to go to work on your homes for like 15 seconds, okay? Inside every orifice of your face. Do you still take it? I'll take it. I'll, I mean, I don't know if I could hold on that long, but I will definitely give it a shot, so yes. Uh, 15,000? Yes. 10,000? Yep. Lower. Lower. 5,000? Lower. <laughs> I love even Dave Kohler at like 5,000. He's like, hey, Susan, man, you better watch it, man. <laughs> okay, I think you might be getting yourself in some trouble. All right, no, it, yeah, I, I'll stop at 5,000. Hey, Susan is a winner at $5,000. Get pepper sprayed in the face, open mouth style. Uh, now, uh, I wanted to ask you guys as well, and we've got a poll. I'll tell you at the end of the live stream uh, what the numbers on this poll are. Facebook.com slash TYT Nation. 
would you get pepper sprayed in the face for thirty thousand dollars I'm predicting that it comes around ninety eight percent saying yes that's a lot of money man dude thirty thousand are you crazy yeah. that's a tremendous amount of money you now having said it. that look you never know man you never know what kind of damage it could cause you hope of course it's not permanent damage but you're worried so and some people just think no way man under no circumstances am I gonna suffer through that on the other hand I have a friend who once, of course, did it as a gag. <laughs> uh, suffice it to say, you should not do it as a gag. Turns out, that's a really bad idea. You should only do really bad ideas for $30,000.